Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm just talking to myself there for a sec. <laughs> uh, there you go. Look, we get we get some music too. We got some music too. Look at that. I'm, I'm not an amateur. I promise. <laughs> what up, Dennis? Um, so, like I was saying, um, cameras over here. I want to talk to the camera, right? And the chat is like over here, and the painting is over here. And I think I just noticed. I need to like set up another cam or like have this camera here. I need another camera. I need a camera for my face so when I'm looking this way, I could look over here and talk to you guys. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Nah. Jesus, uh, I am, I am an amateur all the way. What's up, Air Todd? What's up, Cristian? Saludos, saludos. Uh, yeah, 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 resolvimos el sonido. Um, so, what's up, Johnny Walker? Uh, no, no ads, thank you. Um, all right, so here we have the project for today. So if you're new to the How to Airbrush series, um, I have to go through it. Um, so these designs are free to use, free, free for you to use. The image link is down below in the description. I swear to God, if there's a comment to say where do you get the image, uh, it's down in the description. If you're watching on Facebook, it's going to be up above the video. There's a link that says image link. That is the link to this little drawing. So you can do this exercise right at home. So este es video es para los que están aprendiendo que son nuevos. Y este dibujo es gratis. Para ustedes lo pueden bajar en el link abajo del video o si están viendo en Facebook está por arriba uh, y sí um, igual vamos a yo les voy a explicar paso a paso so I'm gonna go through this step by step and show you guys how to work this little design and turn it into something cool um, and yeah <clears throat> where do you get the music <laughs> uh, what's up Angel Boy Right on, thank you for watching the videos. All right, so, see, see, here I go, facing away from the camera. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys should be able to hear me okay, I think. Um, so, um, here we have the design. I've cut it out, right, we just cut it out of paper, and I even just used some tape today because it's mainly just you know a bunch of one piece and I so I just took some tape and I've taped it on right simple as that oh look at Dennis son get those skulls back oh ho, ho. that's nice dude I seen you were back at work so that's good that's good what's up RC dude <laughs> um, so yeah anyway here we go through our design and today and for the rest of the how to airbrush videos uh, until the giveaways over then we might go back to using some more but until the giveaways over I'm just gonna go ahead and use the airbrush that you will be winning and that I will be showing to you here in one second um, to do today's design and artwork and the Probably there'll be two or three more episodes of how to airbrush um, before the giveaway. So again, if you haven't signed up, there's also a link to the giveaway down below, right next to the giveaway to or the link to the stencil is. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flush this out. I've been, obviously, I've been painting all day. If you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram. You know that I posted a couple pictures today, some of the stuff I did. So. I've just been all over the place today. <laughs> Where can you find the image? <laughs> Uh, what's up, Douglas? Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this out. Uh, low, 
Lobo High. That's what that's what your name's gonna be, cause I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go through this live, obviously, like we always do, and then if you want to do this right at home, I'm obviously gonna be showing all the colors and everything right before I use it. If I see a comment that says, what colors did I use? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to start off. Oh, Violet is out, so where's our purple? There's purple. Gonna use some deep blue. We're gonna use some transparent gray. We're gonna use some opaque black. And some white. And let's see what else do we need. We got gray, we got purple, we got blue. Um, I think that's about it. That's what we're gonna use. Take a screenshot, work the image to sort out perspective, then print. RC, no. No, my guy. That is the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to go down in the link under the description of the video, and there you will find the link where you can just download the image and use it right at home, right for free. And to go with everything, we're going to use this 4011 reducer. And I'm going to start with purple. This says 4012, ignore that, I've poured 4011 in here. I just, Createx has a sense of humor and they sent me these huge bottles, right? So it makes it really hard to use the huge bottles and I just pour some of it in here and then I pour it out from here, so. So voy a estar usando morado, voy a usar 4011 para reducir nuestro color. So I'm going to do about a half and half mixture here and I don't need a whole lot so I'm dumping out some of the reducer here so that we can just hit out and out. You got a tattoo stencil, same image, I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, this is a pretty popular design. Um, so about half and half, half reducer, half paint. And today, or for this particular color, we're using the regular Createx Airbrush Purple. So estamos usando los colores originales de Createx, el color purple. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna shake this up real good. <laughs> Air Todd going hard with the sharing. Thank you, guy. Thank you, Air Todd, for that. Always appreciated. Get as many people in here to watch live is always good. Like, no pressure, right? No pressure. <laughs> what I find in those groups, it's always the same people. They're just spread out in different groups. So we got our purple flowing through there. And all I'm gonna do is kind of lightly hit all around the wolf here. And the moon. Right, I obviously cut it out. I took off all the outside bits and kind of this bit in between the legs right here. All I'm gonna do is go around it. Nice and light, nothing too crazy. I kind of build it up there. Right, so I'm building up a scene like this. Um, you could either do the clouds and incorporate the clouds into the shading in the back, or you could do the shading and then come back with white and cut your clouds in, right? So I'm going to do the, the cut the clouds in after I'm done with, with the background because I'm going to lay blue in here and I want the blue and the purple to kind of blend in together in like a nice kind of cosmic way, right? And then I want the clouds to look like they're over that. So that's kind of the particular way. But if you wanted the clouds to look like they're kind of hazing out from behind, that's your own, you know, kind of style if you want to do it that way. 
so aquí voy a como sé el morado ¿no? recorté nuestra plantilla y usé el morado por todo alrededor y luego le vamos a dar con azul más ligeramente con el morado le vamos a dar como diseñitos pues I'm just gonna do these little designs around I'm cutting a little bit of like the cosmic look like I'm saying kind of like it's clouds but they're purple clouds coming out from the moon Then we're going to accent that with the blue. Then we'll go over once we have the moon done. And before we do the wolf, we'll add white clouds all around. Right. And so here's pro tip. So instead of dumping this out, we're going to add a dark blue into this. Right. So this purple's it's pretty dark, you know, but it sprays light. What we're going to do is just add um, some deep blue into our purple here and we're gonna add a pretty good amount then we're gonna shake that up real good no more reducer just shake it up real good should do a watch party yeah yeah watch parties are good so como puede ver nomás le agregué azul deep blue ah the createx es el color deep blue le he agregado a nuestro vaso aquí con nuestra pintura y vamos a hacer un morado azul un, un, un azul morado ¿no? so we're gonna make like a, a blurple we're making a blurple here make sure we get that flowing through and then we're gonna just start laying that in blending that in with our purple that we sprayed earlier and we can kind of be generous and just lay that in over everything Lay it in like it was candy. Right over everything. Give everything a nice even coat. And then I wanted to have like a fading off appearance. And what is with the song? Not the song. Sorry, song. Not, not today. <laughs> Mike's dictionary. Approved by Scholastics. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna just hit a shade all the way around. Right, just to give everything a nice dark edge. Bam. Simple stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our moon. So all I'm gonna do is flush this out, right? We're gonna flush this out, and then we're gonna come back with some medium gray. Oh, so I will give the major hint. If you haven't noticed something uh, new across the screen right now, there's a, a major announcement coming up here in, in just a few minutes once we get done with this moon in the clouds. Um, I'm gonna go over a little giveaway announcement. We won't play the video, but I'll show you guys um, everything that's in the box so far. Oh yeah. Right on Bob Chandler, we'll see you next time. You can always catch it again later. Once it's a better time for yourself, the, the VOD will be there for you, my guy. All right, 
right, so again, I'm just going to mix up a little bit of medium gray. A lot of grease. And a little bit of this here. And I'm just going to throw a little bit of reducer in there. Pop the floor through. And shake this all up. What's up, Dustin? How's it going? Who's ready for a stupid question? Let's hear it. Let's hear it, RC guy. I want to hear it. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Shake it like a soft shaker, boy. Shake it like a pulling the right picture. Yeah. <laughs> Hola, Marcio. Alright, so we got a nice gray kind of coming out there. And if you're ever unsure, you can take the picture, the pieces you remove, kind of give yourself a, a test panel. Alright, so now we're just gonna build up the moon right, right behind all this. And I hope you guys can hear me pretty good over that music that seems to be pretty loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. There you go. So all I'm gonna do is take the medium gray and we're gonna kind of build the the look of the moon. Gonna gotta give it those little stabs <clears throat> to do those really soft uh, kind of like pits, right? And do I have to adjust the camera? Oh my, that's disgusting. Disgusting settings. All right, there you go. Now you guys can see. Oh my gosh, what an amateur, bro! This 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 stream has been nothing but amateur hour. Anyway, now you guys can see the gray that I'm spraying, <clears throat> and um, again, just kind of giving it these light little dabs. Start a dot from far away, and then just kind of moving closer. All right, different sized ones. Kind of all the way around. And if you notice, I'm not going around the wolf. I'm just kind of lightly filling these dots all around and kind of giving the look of the moon, you know. Build the roundness up. And maybe a little shade this way, a little shade that way. And now we want to kind of hit that edge just really ever so lightly. We do want it to kind of stay almost white. Simple. Can you re reuse re if you put it through a cl just to clean the airbrush? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, just asking sounds silly. I, I I don't know. I probably wouldn't. I would if you do that, right? Like if you've used it for cleaning and then you've collected it. I would probably just keep using it for cleaning. So anytime you're gonna flush out and stuff, just use that old cleaner reducer. It's kind of how we do with the big pink ones. So. Again, just keep building up those tones of the moon. I honestly don't know, man. That's the <laughs> that's one of those for science questions that we'd have to try out, you know? For airbrush science. So we got all that in there. We're gonna hit this ear with the gray, this little eye with the gray. <clears throat> all right, so we're just gonna mix in. We're dealing with a lot with like just color combinations here. You could turn them off, my guy. That That is... The closed captions is a setting on your computer. <laughs> uh, there's a way to turn them off. I don't know if, how you turned them on or how or what. Facebook does it kind of on its own. I don't do that. I literally have not mixed, messed with any Facebook settings at all besides the titles and the description. Yeah, your tank is tomorrow, Dustin. Or you can use a texture stencil, poof, you're done. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? You, you don't learn, you don't progress by just using a stencil. 
All right, so we've mixed up the gray with a little bit of black there. And now we're just kind of laying in different color stippling among the other one. And that's really what's going to kind of set it off. Or, or you could do like Eric Todd says and go and buy money on a stencil, spend money, and then be done. Stencils are, you see, we're using the stencil for this. You could use more stencils upon stencils upon stencils. I like doing a little freehand work. Always nice. <laughs> What's up, Gilbert? Thank you, thank you. RC tank? No, it, it's an actual motorcycle tank. But it's just a bunch of skulls, so. Most people around here have seen me do skulls. It's not really going to be anything special. <clears throat> I mean, oh, it's all special, but like, you know what I mean. It's more skulls. got all that in there so one thing we're gonna do right off the bat let me put that down and we're gonna come here and take this guy off now I did cut these teeth or I thought I did I want to leave the teeth behind That might be hard to do without a little bit of glue. So we're just going to take a little spray adhesive, spray it onto a piece of paper here. Then we are going to dip our teeth right into that adhesive. Give it a second. And lay it in. Bam. Bam. Pro tips, look at that. Just a little bit of that right on that tooth. Lay it down. you can use two cams yeah you can use as many cams as you have just freehand them <laughs> uh, what's up manual way it's for blind and deaf people yes definitely that's where closed captions work the best so again I'm just gonna hit this edge of this mouth coming off the top the side and off the bottom and we have that nice dark color in there right Bam. So, a couple things. Let me take this leg off. We're gonna hit that edge. That leg there. Like so, all the way to the bottom. Gonna lift up this flap here. Got all these little little cuts. Makes it so easy. Just lift up the flap. Bam. Hit that edge. Now we lift up the whole leg. No, actually, we leave that leg. We lift up the belly. We lift up this whole section here. To the top. And we do this. So, you see where this edge is coming in? We're just going to kind of throw a line in like this and then shave it off like so. Go all the way up. Just lightly hit all that. Simple. Alright. 
Was? What is it? Can you bring it to me and I'll open it for you? Get a yogurt and I'll open it. Alright, so we got that. these flaps here that I've cut you can just lift up those right like that and hit that edge same thing going up just lift that up hit that edge got it mm -hmm. all right do you know where the spoons are really good all right <clears throat> so once we got all that sorry being distracted by a baby you can go ahead and take all that off right there simple and we even took the tooth off so, yeah. it's fine we'll leave that off for now um, and yeah I think we're at the point where I should show you guys um, giveaway box <laughs> so here we go we're gonna talk about the giveaway let me share the giveaway link with everybody um, there is new ways to enter the giveaway so if you've already entered before you might want to go again um, so obviously the cats out of the bag we got I why do I say we got I wanna decided, man, that camera is horrible. Take that out of focus up. There you go. So, obviously, through word of mouth stuff, uh, they decided to join in on the giveaway. Um, and I had already ordered the airbrush, and so they can't really provide the airbrush. That would make no sense. Um, since I have it here already uh, but they did agree to send an airbrush carrying case um, for you guys so whoever wins will get an airbrush carrying case and an Iwata airbrush carrying case an Iwata Revolution HPCR get an Iwata airbrush hose boy an airbrush hose to go with the Iwata Revolution Right, you're also gonna get an Iwata keychain that they're gonna be sending over, an, an airbrush carrying case. I've thrown in 10 sheets of each of the black and white, and these are like the kind of papers I'm painting on now. So, if you've ever tried to paint on paper, regular paper, you know that regular paper kind of doesn't absorb paint very well. This paper right here is like perfect, it's amazing. Paper. I love it. Um, we got our Spider Man painting in here. Right, so if, if you like Spider-Man or if you don't, don't matter. It's airbrushed, so this painting is airbrushed by me, and it's pretty detailed, pretty cut, and I think it's one of the videos that you can see on the channel. Uh, so I need to get a cover for that, so we can have a nice plastic cover for that. I decided to throw in six of the snapback hats, so we have six of them. So that you could uh, practice on there and I don't have the stencils in here yet but I'm also gonna throw in all ten that's right all ten of the Mike's brush stencil kits so that you have all the stencils like Air Todd likes to use um, for your airbrush endeavors which is like all of them the bricks kit the, the digital camo the fire kit all of them all of them if you go on mikesbrush.com like it is right there up oh my god directions there like it is right there if you go on the website you look at the stencil page all those stencils you'll get one set of each um, again you'll get the HD stencils kit they're also gonna hook you up with their own individual uh, setup um, the createx primary colors kit 
So here's here's the thing. Createx has agreed to send you a Createx uh, two ounce primary set. I went ahead and I ordered another two ounce primary set that comes with reducer and it also comes with Kent Lin's How to Begin Airbrushing DVD. So you're gonna be getting like the ultimate airbrush package. Like the, all you need really is a compressor. Um, and so if, if you're, if you have a garage, most of us probably have a compressor in the garage and you'll be able to start airbrushing like that, bro. Uh, you'll have all the stencils, you'll have the paper, you'll have the hats, you'll have all the stencils, you'll have the HD stencils, you'll have the paint, you'll have the airbrush, you'll have the hose. There'll be no excuse for you to not just be like, I'm going to practice till my, you know, finger breaks basically. So make sure you go right now in the chat. Click that link, get all the entries done. Again, big shout out to Createx. Look at the look at the nice banner up here. Look at look at the look at the look at the nice shirt, my guy. Ah, uh, um, big shout out to Createx. Again, if it wasn't like just huge, amazing shout out to Createx. They are like making it explode. Um, so make sure you go and tell them thanks. Like go and show them love on their Facebook. Go freaking comment on all their YouTube videos, even if you don't even care about the candy. Please just go say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so thank you to Iwata again. Createx made possible Iwata. Thank you to Iwata again for agreeing to, like, even if they're just going to send up a few things. The carrying case, I think, is pretty cool. Um, you know, I don't have one, but you will. So, bro, what? Um what else uh big shout out to hd stencils again you're gonna get to try out the hd stencils in your hands and see what i saw and that how those stencils take your breath away when you remove them like those stencils are amazing uh, just there's nothing else like them on the market nothing there's no, like even the stencils i make they're 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 subpar compared to the hd stencils the hd stencils are just, just above and beyond um so you're gonna get like it's a it's a pretty big box i'm already putting together it's gonna be full to the brim i'm gonna try to fill it as much as i can all the stuff i'm just gonna just squeeze it all in there and i'm gonna just a little note in there and hopefully i can fit it and close it all down and tape it and it's probably gonna be like 200 dollars to ship it to you because it's gonna be so heavy but it's gonna be fine it'll be worth it and whoever gets it like i really really hope you guys take full advantage of not only all of that but also all the YouTube videos that will help you learn how to use all the other equipment so again I want to join the giveaway so make sure again you go to the I want Facebook make sure you go to their Instagram make sure you go to their um, YouTube page tell them thank you for sponsoring the Mike's brush giveaway just go and drop them all the love everywhere go and blow them up and you know it'll just make for more and better stuff giveaways in the future um as well you know we're about to start eating into the reviews and the price stack of the iwata and beyond um you know because there's other companies besides iwata but we are like now the price stack is up there we're getting up there in quality and you know iwata is like they set the bar my guy they, they are the bar and all the other airbrushes at us at this point like there's a reason I'm giving away a revolution and not like, you know, anything else. So go and sign up, go and sign up. That's all I gotta say. We're gonna continue on with today's project. Obviously, as you guys can see, uh, we have the Iwata logo, we have the Createx logo, we have the HD Stencils logo, we got the Mike's Brush website here, and that's how all of it will stay until the giveaway is over make sure you go and show all these companies some love go all to all their social media and blow them up let them know the mike's brush skull squad fam appreciates all the stuff all right you looked at hd stencils they haven't got many stencils to choose from you do realize that they make custom stencils right like what they have on their website is just kind of like a product page so that you could get an idea but you can literally contact them and have them make any anything you want anything literally you want a picture a stencil of your face 
so that you can just put your face in just and then just spray it up on stuff they do that like that's what HD stencils does so just just putting that out there <laughs> I don't have many stencils to choose from I don't do that like I have the 10 available once in a while I get somebody that like you know wants a specific stencil but I really don't do that they specialize in making like custom nice like <laughs> you've seen those stencils they, they're amazing so anyway continuing on um, we still have our black uh, or really really dark gray in here so again we're just gonna start giving our wolf some texture here All right and we're just gonna come in with some little light strokes again your own personal um, skills can really shine here uh, but we just want to build up the fur and if you bring up a reference it always helps I kind of have a reference that I made the picture off of so I'm kind of using that but uh, otherwise I would say just kind of do your best to just freehand it in and it's okay if you make a mistake don't worry too much because it is just fur and we are going to come back in with a little bit of white and also if you want to shade it in like say maybe you want that part to just be a little darker don't be afraid to throw shading in with your strokes you know yep Mike's brush banging the logos yeah boy <laughs> what's up uh, all right all right all right Cool. I think I, I think I'm good on the chats right now. So we're just gonna make a black little nose here, and I actually have it marked up so you can cut it. Mine wasn't cut. I thought I had cut it, but it's fine. And we're just gonna give it a black snout, kind of going back. Right, and it just shows how good this airbrush is. That doing those little fine strokes like this, it, it's really easy with this airbrush. So. Again, your own personal skill is going to really shine here and how much actual time and effort you want to dedicate into your painting. Um, experience and all that is going to come in real handy, right? So, again, if you don't work at my speed, that's totally okay. If you want to take a little bit more time and kind of really flesh it out, that's okay. For today's video obviously we don't want to sit here for four hours we're just trying to give it a quick impression and also let beginners know that they could do this they can achieve it and it's totally possible <laughs> yeah so Oh, what's up, Heather? You didn't get a notification. Make sure you click that notification bell uh, down below as well. To make sure you get notified right when I go live. Because you, you know that YouTube algorithm, it doesn't show much love to little channels like me, man. You know? We got, we got lots of people watching, but we still, we not we don't have thousands, you know what I'm saying? So, they still treat us like we're a little guy. We're a little guy around here. And again, just building it up little by little. It's fur. So, the best, the best advice I could give for doing this particular part is to move up and down. And then as you're going up, you're going to want to pull back and release that trigger, right? So it's an up and down motion, and I'm only trying to pull that trigger during my up and down travels, right? When I'm at the topmost peak, I'm trying to let that trigger re relax. And then as I go back down, I'm trying to pull it back down. And it's kind of like a, just a, a little repeating motion, a little stabbing effect. I'm just bringing it back. And once you get really good at it, you can actually do like 
a bunch of fur right away. Fur is kind of one of those things where it's really awesome to paint it, but man, it could be time consuming. So. Yo, what'd you guys think of that pole too? That pole was close, wasn't it? That, that Mayan jungle almost won. Mike's brush is a savage. Yes, sir. You think you need about 50 likes just to be recommended? Yeah, what's <laughs> what's up, Leon? Oh, what? Leon? A member of the Skull Squad? When did this happen? Oh, my gosh. What is up, Leon? The Skull Squad in the house, my guy. What is up? When did we miss you? Where have you been? Do you cut out the stencil or a machine? These are cut by hand. So everything I do in the how to airbrush um, is cut by hand and yeah, it's done as simple as I can do it. Need 50 likes to be recommended, huh? Bro, we're only at nine likes. That that's how sad the situation is, so. Kind of working my way back all the way down. And like I said, if, if you want to take lots of time doing this fur, you can come back with multiple colors. We're probably going to come back with just white. But if you wanted to do a gray tone, maybe a light brown tone, maybe a tan tone, maybe a couple little sky blue tones, and then come back in with white, and then maybe another gray tone over. Like you really could just take all day creating fur. Because there's so so much little little stuff that you could add in, right? And we're just gonna be quick about it today. We're gonna be quick. So here's another pro tip, son. And we're gonna take our rocks here that we cut out, and then we're gonna align it, and we're gonna use that same edge of the rock. And we're gonna bring it, maybe coming up this way, All right? And we're gonna use that to build up the other rocks. See that? And you don't want to use the same edge maybe too close to each other so it would be too noticeable. But if you move it around, you get creative with it. It's quite possible to give yourself a nice little rocky ridge here where he's standing on. down here right. so again just gonna flush this out I'm gonna take off these teeth now so you can see they're nice and white maybe you want to tone them down just a little bit and I have 
have somebody at my door. Be right back. Cool. All right, sorry about that. Had to. <laughs> oh no, what happened? Yes, I heard about the cop, the diet, the guy. Oh my gosh, you made me just forget his name. I was gonna say his name. Um, but yeah, I shared something about it on Facebook. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty sad situation. Uh, where was I? Okay, so at this point, right, it looks pretty good. We're going to add some stars. We're going to add some clouds and maybe a little white highlights and some fur onto the wolf here. And we're just going to get some good old what for that. Flushing out the black. Get it all out of there. And we're just gonna use good old wicked white. And we're probably gonna just use it straight out of the bottle so that we get the brightest white. Right. And that's also the amazing thing about this airbrush is that it has a 0.5 millimeter needle. So you're able to spray, you know, some opaques just as they come. And we're gonna start off with this wolf. We're gonna kind of just give him a little, a little fur coming off the edge there to just kind of and just give him that little fuzzy look, you know, like he's furry. Doesn't look like it needs white. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you can hold off in the white if you don't need to. I like to throw a little white on there on this, especially when it's like at night based. And on the fur like that, it kind of makes it look like it's like soft, you know. Throw a little edge on it like that. 
It just gives it the added effect. and close today I think I think we're at number 16 and at this point uh, we're going from how to airbrush to how to airbrush better <laughs> so again what's up tattoo yeah white highlights make things stand out but like I am I'm worth air Todd on this one sometimes things don't need white you know, no, it's all right to have an opinion. No, it's not a back cheat chat. You know, it's just his opinion. I do like your idea of hitting the moon with yellow. I'm down for that. But we should, my guy, you should have said that before we loaded white so that we could hit the yellow and then hit the white over the yellow. But I like Eric Todd's idea. You could hit the yellow over the moon. That'll give the moon a really nice effect. Uh, but for today, I think we'll just skip that since we already loaded white. And I'm just going to come out in the background here and we're just going to add some stars in. Hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the shirt should be great as long as you use bleach and uh, the gown should be okay. I'm not quite sure how well it holds on that material, but it should be okay as far as I'm concerned. No, no that's fine. You should be okay to iron it or if you want to steam it or anything like that, that's okay. Yeah, 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 you're fine to iron it or, or steam it or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Alrighty. Alright, bye bye. Alright. <laughs> Is the airbrush color or the illustration? So I used all my uh, regular airbrush white earlier today. So I'm just substituting with a little wicked white. But either one works. Either one will work. So we're just going around doing these little dots, any stars in. See, that's the problem with 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 the chat stuff. <laughs> Is that you, you acknowledge one, and then everybody decides they want to have their input. You know what I'm saying? It's a, <laughs> it's a double edged sword. So now we got those, I'm just going to come back in with a little bit of clouds. And I like to build them up little by little. Right, so we build up this like kind of hazy blob and then I like to kind of outline the highlight area and kind of give it this nice these little blobs you know building up those blobs and then I'll highlight the, the top of the blob you know and then kind of work my way around see that same thing over here and kind of do that over here maybe reverse blob right? maybe the blob is going that way this time 
line the bottom because the moon's on this side, right? We don't want the highlight to be on this side. You see, we're gonna let those stars shine through the clouds a little bit, you know? Same thing over here. Try to start with those blobs out. And this style works really good, specifically because we're working on white, right? But like I said earlier, um, depending on how or what you're working on, sometimes you need to incorporate these clouds into the background color. And that's just, you know. <laughs> it's a frozen wolf, let it go. <laughs> Hello, hello, good. I'm a beginner. I know how to draw pencil more with airbrush. Is this a fire at time? What, bro? I don't know, Sydney. Good luck. I recommend you watch my videos and everybody else's videos online on how to airbrush. Nowadays, that's probably the easiest way to learn. And from there, it's going to be your own personal way of learning that's going to matter. So, I don't know how well you understand English, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. And that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, there you go. It's a frozen wolf. Why are you, why are you clowning on my wolf, Air Todd? <laughs> uh, so again, this is just the basic variation of this design. If you wanted to go through and like Air Todd, you know, you want to add the yellow. Maybe you want to add some more blues back here. Maybe you want to do it bigger so you could do more designs in the back. Maybe you want to add more detail down here. That is all great with me, all right? Whatever you want to do is great with me. Just for me, for today, for this demo, it's quick, it's fast. This is a good example of something that most people could, in, could achieve at home with just a little practice, you know? A little practice, follow those same little steps. I know I walked off for a minute and came back, but you know, that'll give you time to catch up and get to where I was at, and yeah. You know, there you go. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys liked that video. I hope that exercise helps uh, some of you guys out at home. I know this camera looks really bright and this camera looks really dark, but I have to keep this camera dark so that you guys can actually see all the tones of the gray and the white and stuff and it's not just one big muted white uh, you sell the design just send them money i don't sell the design this design is free down below made possible by guys like air todd guys like james melton guys like whoever this is calling hello It really just depends on what you want to put on it. Okay, well, I can't give you a prize until I hear the idea, man. It's a motorcycle tank, yeah. and you want it across the whole tank. Just on the sides, nothing on the tops. Okay. So more or less for the sides, you're probably looking around 300 bucks, something like that. Um, yeah, more or less in the range.
Cool. You would only have to bring the tanks in too. If if you if you know how to work on your bike, you would only have to bring the tanks in. So you don't have to bring in the whole bike. Cool. All right, man. Sounds good. Cool. No, no problem. Bye bye. All right. Jesus, the distractions today. Um, but yeah. I don't know what I was saying. Um, the designs are all free. Uh, again, if you like the channel, if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. If you really, really like these videos and you want to see more like them and you don't want them to stop because you want to keep learning, maybe consider memming becoming a member of the Skull Squad down below. If you look at Eric Todd, if you look at Dennis in the chat, if you look at James, all them people have that little skull next to the name. It means they hold a special place in this little, my, in my little heart right here. You know, the little black spot, that one's reserved just for you guys, where I keep a little space for every single person that becomes a member, and we use all that money that we acquire every month to bring you guys more reviews, more how to airbrush videos, more just general live streams where I give special tips and tricks for everything from artwork to shoes to shirts to cars to jeans to whatever you want to see painted. You'll probably see some form of it on here. Um, and yeah, it all helps to bring you guys all these more videos. Again, special thanks to Createx. Special thanks to HD Stencils over here. Go and show Iwata the love. Tell him thank you for becoming a sponsor of the giveaway. Um, bro, I don't, it's, it's, it's quite literally the biggest giveaway, airbrush giveaway I've seen on any, on any channel. And I'm just like, it started off with me just wanting to hook one of you guys up with just an airbrush. And it's really just become this crazy thing. And uh, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited for the person who wins. Because if I was the one winning, bro, I would be like jumping out of my seat. So, you know, yeah. Um, anyway, this is the end of today's video. Ah, that ends my day for the rest of the day. Um, I've been painting all day. The customer just picked up. Just got pied, son, just got pied. Um, and then obviously the phone's still ringing for more work. Tomorrow, uh, we'll be painting Dustin's tank, motorcycle tank. Again, we're putting skulls all over the whole thing. Just different styles, skulls, mean skulls, angry skulls, happy skulls, all that good jazz. So if you want to see that, make sure you st tuned in tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but it'll be around probably 3, somewhere between 3 to 5 p.m. is when we'll go live um, and we'll get catch all that. So again, thank you to everybody watching thank you to the whole skull squad thank you for leon <laughs> you keep blowing water and you have a moisture trap you probably do not have a tank on your compressor <laughs> so yeah we'll see you guys all tomorrow everybody have a good night thank you guys for watching later